Okay, they're interested in a parameter m into the problem. Let's say, you know, you want to get an uh, integer coefficient polynomial that has these roots. So, you know, if, if minus m is a root, you know, it, it becomes kind of easy to write down what the factor is. So just simply x plus m. And yet they got a little more complicated, but it's going to be x minus, I'll write this down for you, m plus root n over 4. And it's going to be x minus m minus root n over 4, and that equals 0. And what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 16. You get x plus m. And then what do you get? You get x, I'm multiplying by 16. Let me repeat this. 16 is 4 times 4. So I'm associating a factor of 4 with this guy. So what did you get? 4x minus m minus root n. Well, I'm going to associate a 4 with this guy. What do you get? 4x minus m plus root n equals 0. Right. I know this is difficult. Before I go forward on it, though, I want to make sure you know that we need to meet this milestone here before I can go forward. Did I get it? x plus m, 4x minus m minus root n, 4x minus m plus root n. We got it. We're there. All right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of the distractions now. And I'm going to focus in on what I need to do, which is multiplication. And someone says, what are you going to multiply together first? And I'm going to outline that for you. I want to do this first. I know that looks like a lot of work, but I want to do it first. What's 4x times 4x? 16x squared. That's not too bad. Then what do you get? Minus 4mx. I'm distributing this across those three terms. Then what do you get? Plus 4 root n x. That's done. I'm going to do this now. What is it going to give you? Minus 4 mx plus m squared minus m root n. Now I'm going to do this. What's that going to give you? Minus 4 root n x plus m root n. Then what do you get? Minus n. A lot of work. This is still equal to 0, by the way. Let's do that. x plus m, 16x squared, minus 8mx. Well, these guys disappear, and these guys disappear. And what do you get? Plus m squared minus n equals 0. Well, I got some more multiplication. We have an answer to look at later, but I'm moving forward. And what do you get over here? 16. Oh, by the way, I'm distributing across by x now. x cubed minus 8m x squared plus m squared x minus n x. Now let's do the m. What do you get? Plus 16 m x squared minus 8 m squared x plus m cubed minus nm. This is equal to 0. Let's add together. What do you get? 16x cubed plus 8mx squared. Well, this is going to be something, isn't it? And what do you get there? You're going to get, let's see, minus 7m squared plus n x. Let's see how I did there. Yeah, I did all right. And then plus, I can put this in parentheses and factor it, m, m squared minus n equals 0. Let's get our little magic wand out, see how we did. 16x cubed, 8mx squared, minus 
7m squared plus nx plus m, m squared minus n equals zero. We did fine. Again, I want to point out to you, I know I said a lot to you, but if you do see something that's wrong in the document, let me know about that. And we're talking about the written document that you're being provided. Thank you.